888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Six bayonets. We are now entering overdrive. Hey, folks. With your host, Alex Jones, broadcasting live from the front lines. Everybody's sick of if me you saying. Are receiving this transmission. Literally. You are the resistance. Well, Time Magazine has people tweeting what words they want banned, which is just an attempt to discuss banning things, and literally is one of the top ones. I'm really, I am literally trying to stop using the word literally. And I catch myself literally realizing that I'm actually using the word actually and literally too much. I get it. But instead of going, uh, 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 I say literally, literally, literally. Or I say literally when I want to say that I'm not exaggerating or this isn't a figure of speech. Okay, let's go ahead and go to a few more calls. I'm literally going to them now. Bill in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead. What's up there, Alex? Hey, how you doing? I want to. I'm doing good. And I want to thank you for saving my life, Alex. Your products have really returned my health to me, and uh, I want to thank you for my health back. Well, God bless you, sir. What they do? I mean, what products were those? Well, I was taking uh, some mental health medication that I probably should never have taken in my life because I was under attack, just like uh, people across this country are under attack, and they were not reporting my blood work. And so I had, like, pustules under my arms. Ugh. My kidneys were hurting bad. I've been to the hospital for a whole year with back aches and pains. And my sides were distended. So I quit taking the medication. I went to homeopathic remedies. Good so job. Do the same. And I started taking your products. And I was able to clean it out. The inflammation went down in my kidneys. I'm able to urinate now better. Awesome. Uh, my health has returned. I've lost some weight. The sores are all gone. My mind is clearer, and it's thanks to your products, and, and really, we're under attack out here. Oh, we are. I mean, look, if you don't have iodine, you die. You don't have B12, you die, and then you go into the doctor, and they won't tell you that. I have a medical doctor that actually took my blood and said what I needed years ago, and, I, and, I, and I'm working with them to get the, you know, the key things I need. But and that, the good news is more and more medical doctors are, are, are clicking, so, so it's good news. Yeah, we've got a domino effect happening. You know, the dominoes are rolling down right now. We've got we've got the secret army over there uh, pretending to be crazy Muslims and chopping off heads, and half of them aren't even from that country. Oh, yeah. So it looks like this is uh, mercenaries that have been hired. Who printed up all that wonderful stuff for them to wear? And uh, so they're over there creating a distraction. Our army boys are getting their legs and arms blown off so that we can further, uh, you know, do our science work on how we're going to one day repair legs and stuff. But they're being blown up while the other guys are loading drugs onto the uh, aircraft uh, for our wonderful African-Americans up there in Ferguson after they go through their traumatic, distressing uh, attack that may happen. And I think that, like, this attack is like Kent State. You know, you go and you shoot these young hippies, and what happens? You increase drug abuse in that area. You increase depression. You increase the uh, the need for psychological, um, you know, help, and, and that's dependence. You create dependence through terror, and that's what we have up there. We have psychological terror going on. I agree, and, and even the average compartmentalized cop is not aware of it. You're awesome, sir. So many great callers. Been having great callers all day, but great callers here at the end. I wish I could keep going because I want to talk to Barbara and everybody else r r briefly. The New York Times says questions about Sharpton's finances, a company his rise and influence, another FBI guy, and it turns out he basically doesn't pay taxes. Now, they may burn Sharpton now because he's no longer useful because Obama's going out. See, but no, go after Google, go after Microsoft, go after General Electric where they don't pay taxes. And I'm not defending Sharpton. But, but see how they'll burn their people when they're done with them. Man, I tell you, I wouldn't want to be with the New World Order. Barbara, 
Daniel, Bob, and Rick. I'm sorry I'm out of time. I got a long way to go in a short time to get there. A lot of work to do. A lot getting ready for coverage tonight of whatever happens in Ferguson today or tomorrow. We're going to be here covering it. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. I want to thank our sponsors, our affiliates, you the listeners, the good Lord, everybody else. Let's pray for peace in Ferguson and other areas uh, because it's the First Amendment under attack and they want to just play everybody off against each other. We need to come together and say no to looting and also no to police brutality. You pick up the receipt. Maybe. Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time,